Voltage Podcast. Hello and welcome back to another edition of Voltage Podcast. We are back with our fourth artist and I'm really excited to introduce him to you, Ryan James Ford. Ford's discography is pretty impressive with what he's put out and where, having started off very strongly on Marcel Dittman Records in 2015, Answer Code requests the records the next year, and eventually moving on to making appearances on labels as far and wide as Clone, Nina Kravitz's Trip Recordings, and more recently on Ellen Allian's infamous B-Pitch imprint. Ford, who's a Berlin-based Canadian, has been known to meander between styles since he started putting out records, but like any good artist, his fingerprint can always be easily found despite being eclectic. Take his track Structure of Civilization, something you'd expect maybe in a Parisian warehouse at 5am with its imposing 4-4 kick and saturated percussions, and compare it to his mini-album Envy, which came out less than a year before. A much more delicate project that undoubtedly pulls inspiration from Electronica and IDM with its ambient synths and beat-repeating break samples. What can be found in all these projects is a certain level of nostalgia that expresses itself through grit and groove, which Ford uses very effectively to get people dancing without making us feel like we've heard the track a million times. His DJ career has brought him all over the world, but he mostly stays in Berlin to play at famed clubs like About Blank, Trezor, Arena, and Grismüller, among others. Don't forget to stay tuned after the mix for the regular routine. A few more words on Ryan James Ford and his mix, and the answers to the last edition's community question, and of course, next edition's question. And now, with the one hour mix for Voltage Podcast, this is Ryan James Ford. Voltage Podcast.
Well, there you go. That was Ryan James Ford for the past hour with a very solid selection, progressively getting stronger and harder throughout. The intro, starting us off with one of Ford's very own tracks and mixing straight into a reflex record, sets a tone for the rest of the mix. The transition and energy to more warehouse style tracks is made obvious as soon as we hear those 909 hats and rides and a straight forward to the floor kick. Unsurprisingly, there's a regular touch of acid here and there, with the signature use of breaks, and that transitions really well into his more contemporary rave records. All of this to finally wind us down with a very fitting Aphex Twin track at the end, which was really nice. You can check out his handwritten track list and a picture of where he recorded the mix on our website, and if you're curious to know more about the evolution of his sound, what he's been listening to, and what's coming up for him, go check out our Q&A where I ask him all of that and more. Now for the last edition, we asked the Voltage community what your favorite release was on your favorite label, and here are some answers we liked. Glenn Knappen said Sandwell District and put up Function's classic Disaffected. What a fantastic label. Dennis Omron Rumens mentioned Trezor Records with Surgeon's Force and Form's first remake, saying Trezor because of the diversity of genres and artists. This label defines the history of the techno landscape. So many excellent records by Ruskin, Surgeon, Regis, difficult to just name one. I thought that was a really good choice. Classic label and club. Finally, Stan Heck chose Hayes, choosing Fresco's super fresh album, Is It? Saying Hayes quickly became one of my favorite labels. The guys from Portugal are killing it at the moment. Highly infectious grooves, but pushing the boundaries in terms of sound design. An honorable mention is In My Pain, choosing Semantica Records, which is a personal favorite of mine at the moment as well. Thanks to everybody who answered. So for next week, in the light of Daft Punk splitting up, we wanted to ask you what group or artist you would bring back for another record and why. Don't forget to join our Voltage community on Facebook and let us know and we'll pick our favorite answers for next week. Tune in for next edition's artist who has been making big waves in the techno scene with his very immersive productions. We're very excited to host Des Roy. And until then, keep dancing. <laughs>